welcome back so in this video we'll be discussing how to scan beyond the ideas and firewall so we'll move on to the practical demonstration so generally uh, when you are uh, uh, the, when the attacker or the penetration tester want to uh, test the availability of the target or if you want to uh, uh, scan the uh, uh, open ports on the target so uh, generally we can use the nmap commands uh, uh, which we discussed in the previous videos uh, when you are into the local network but when your uh, 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 target is beyond the ideas or firewall so the uh, previous commands might not be might not give you the uh, successful result and uh, there are possibilities where the uh, traces of the attack or traces of the scanning uh, will be uh, logged in the firewall or in the ids so where uh, as a penetration tester or a, a, as an attacker uh, they need to find uh, alternate methods or some stealth methods uh, to uh, scan the uh, targets uh, available port or open port so where their footprints or their traces should not be uh, logged in the ideas or a firewall so uh, in that case we can use the the following uh, uh, commands what what we are going to use and also uh, before uh, using my commands i want to just uh, uh, record and see the uh, output of the command and uh, so here let me use uh, first of all there are different type of scanning methods so uh, connect scan or full scan or half open scan or ack scan or a fin scan so different type of scans are there so currently uh, i'll show you how to uh, scan the how to perform the uh, full connect scan or full scan or connect scan we can say using nmap so nmap and um, followed by hyphen small s and capital t and followed by maybe if you want you can define a port hyphen uh, p followed by eight zero is the port number i want to scan and the target ip i want to scan 10.10.8 which we used in the previous uh, uh, demos and uh, <clears throat> see basically a, f a full scan or a connect scan is basically uh, first uh, from the attacker machine uh, a sin packet will be sent to the target so where uh, the target will be responding back with synac and after which the source machine will uh, send the ack and after which the connection is going to be established and this is going to be the regular communication happens but here instead of performing the communication the intention of the attacker or the penetration tester is to know the availability of the uh, target host and the service so for which we are going to perform this uh, full scan so usually the full scan uh, is going to uh, have a complete uh, a connection establishment so whenever a connection is completely established obviously in firewall or in the ids um, the logs will be created and here we'll check whether uh, uh, in the same way the packet is sent or received so i want here you can see there is a, a lot of, of packets and lot out of which here we can see the first thing is from the attacker machine to the, the target a packet is sent so which is a sin packet for which we are getting the sin NAC and for which uh, the attacker machine is sending the ack and uh, once the attacker receives the synac so which means that the target service is available if the target service is not available we will not get synac we will get the rst i can show you with the uh, another port uh, which is not available in the target i'll show with another port 81 so which is not available in the target and here we'll see the result maybe i think the command is successful and i want to see the result from i'll just apply the filter ip dot addr i want to see the result of this particular ip yeah and here we are seeing the result and uh, this is our uh, result of the previous command so let me start the capture again and now let me execute the command so this particular port is not available 81 let us proceed and here you can see 
so first a sin packet is sent immediately we are getting the rst so which means that so the service is not running on the target so this is how we can uh, uh, know whether the port or service is uh, running or the port is open on the target or not but when you perform the full connect scan so generally uh, these traces will be uh, logged in the ideas or in firewall so to avoid that instead of performing the full connect scan because in full connect full connect scan a uh, sin packet is sent sin is uh, sent back and then ACK is sent back so obviously the full connection establishment is happening so where the penetration tester or attacker can go with another alternative without uh, or avoiding the traces in the ideas or firewall so they can perform the half connect scan so let me clear the screen so for performing the half connect scan so we can um, use the option hyphen small s and capital s so this is to perform the sin half scan sin uh, we can call this as a sin scan or a half scan and here we can see a sin packet is sent and for which uh, immediately okay let me restart the capture again so that uh, the result will be clearly visible so first a sin packet is going to be sent and for which the synac is uh, received so once there is a synac so it which means that the service is running so we got the response so immediately the attacker or the penetration tester knows the service is running on the target so that uh, he don't want to proceed further so though he don't want to proceed with the ack so immediately he is performing the rst so this is basically the half connect scan or uh, we can also perform uh, a udp scan or uh, we can also perform ack scan so i'll show you uh, maybe if I want to uh, perform any UDP scan, I'll show you. So for performing the UDP scan, you can use uh, small s and capital U. So uh, this is to uh, define the UDP scan. So let us wait for the result. Yeah, and here we can see the packet is UDP packet is sent and where we can see the ICMP destination is unreachable. Similarly, we can also perform um, ACK scans. So if I want to perform the ACK scan, again, uh, instead of uh, small s and capital A, so this is basically to perform the ACK scan. So first packet which is going to be sent is the ACK packet. So suddenly there is a, a ACK packet from a particular IP. Immediately the target will get confused because uh, ACK is going to be given after a SYN or a SYNAC. But here there is no SYN or previous SYN or SYNAC. So suddenly the, it is receiving a ACK. So immediately the uh, target will get confused and it will uh, try to terminate the session by sending the RST. So if there is a RST packet received from a particular target so it is evident that the service is running so now uh, let us proceed with uh, uh, fin scan so fin scan is basically where uh, you'll get the uh, <clears throat> instead of sending ack usually fin is uh, sent uh, fin packet will be sent for finalizing the con communication or the conversation so suddenly if there is a, a fin packet from one particular target so immediately again the target will get confused and immediately it will start uh, uh, resetting the communication so if there is a rst ack from the target it is evident that the service is running on the target and uh, we can also perform uh, something like uh, uh, xmas scan so xmas scan where uh, it is going to use all the packets uh, instead of uh, uh, any a sin or uh, uh, fin it is going to use three three uh, type of flags it is going to use fin flag uh, the psh flag and uh, ush flag sorry urg flag so all three type of, of flags will be used in the xmas scan so again if there is a sudden packet with all three flags so obviously the any any packet which cannot contain all three flags so this kind of packets will is going to be uh, dropped or it is going to be resetted by the target 
so with this uh, rstsek again the attacker can come to know that this is the service is running And uh, we can also perform null scan. So null scan is where uh, no flags will be set. So where you can use a hyphen SN. So this is to perform the null scan. And here we can see there is no flags in the packet. So if there is a, any packet without any flags, again, the target uh, will get confused and it will start uh, terminating the connection. So if the service is not running, so we'll get only RST, not uh, ACK. So with this uh, kind of information, we can the attacker can know whether the target is running or not. So whether the target service or whether the target port is open or not. Even attackers uh, may also try to use some uh, random scans. So random scan again, uh, uh, we can use the option uh, R and D. So that is to perform the random scan with hyphen D, R and D, and colon something like five. It means that uh, this random scan is where uh, it is not going to use the attacker's source IP. Instead of uh, attacker's IP, it is going to use some random five IPs. So randomly it will take five IPs and that IPs will be used as a source address. So if anyhow uh, in ideas or in firewall, if the logs are found, so those will be the random IPs. So where it, which will not be uh, identified or which, which cannot uh, point out the attacker. So let us perform the command. So this is basically uh, uh, IP decoying. And here we can see, let me stop the scan. And here you can see it is taking some random IPs. So these IPs uh, are uh, used uh, from here we can see. Here you can see it is taking some random IPs as the source IPs. So okay, uh, it is using uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 random IPs. Since we have selected the option 5, so it is using 5 random IPs uh, you, for which it is uh, sending the uh, packet. And uh, for the same uh, five, uh, uh, random IPs, so we are getting the response. But still, this kind of uh, methods uh, can be even found with the uh, very good forensic investigator. And uh, I hope you got a better understanding about uh, scanning beyond ideas and firewall. So uh, you, 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 need, you need to make yourself comfortable in using the Nmap commands as well as the Wireshark so that you can uh, um, uh, be a better uh, penetration tester in your career. And that's all for this demonstration and we'll discuss the remaining topics in the upcoming videos. Until then, bye-bye.